Welcome back to the game development series. I know I haven't posted anything in 4 or 5 weeks, but don't worry, there has been a lot of progress in the game. Let's start with the biggest change, and I'll show you the problem first. There was this issue where slow moving troops appeared to move in steps, which looked really bad. I mean, it literally looked like the game was lagging. I was super annoyed by that, and I spent many hours trying to fix it. Nothing worked. The reason? Well, it happens that Pygame only allows objects to be positioned at integer coordinates. So, instead of moving evenly, the objects just jump from one integer position to another. I tried so many different ways to fix it. I used larger surfaces, scaling delta times. I even managed to create a version of the game that seemed to work well. But the rendering times were massive and the FPS dropped below 20, so I was crazy annoyed about that. So, I did some more research and I found some Python game engines that use OpenGL, which basically allows hardware accelerated rendering and supports non integer coordinates. Yeah, and I thought maybe I don't really need to use Pygame. I went online and I watched a crash course on how to use Arcade, which is another popular game engine. It seemed to it, it seemed to be quite simple, so I started rewriting the game for Arcade. But about half an hour in, I realized it's such a high level engine. I almost had no control over things I wanted to control completely. So again, I went online, watched another crash course, this time about Pyglet, which is the engine arcade uses underneath. I started coding again, but it was still too high level. I was just used to manually handling events and running the game in a loop. Around that time, I was talking to ChatGPT about this issue, and it was like, oh, have you tried using OpenGL combined with Pygame? And I realized that was literally the easiest way to fix the issues I've been struggling with. Yeah, I spent the next week or so rewriting the game to use OpenGL, and here's the result. This is what the game used to look like, and this is what the game looks like now. I'd say I'm very happy with this result. Secondly, we have a new map series called Fahir. There are currently 9 maps, all of them are based on this huge world map, and over time the number of, the ma of maps will grow to 30 or maybe even more. And honestly, I think these maps look way better than the ones we used to have before. Thirdly, I have some inside information that there is a chance that sometime soon we are going to open applications for beta tests. This means that joining our Discord would be a good idea, since this is where the War of Dust community is the most active, and this is probably where we are going to communicate during the tests. Well, that's it. Thank you for supporting War of Dots and have a great day.